Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Now we're going to move to Sumaya. Describe the party and... <laughs> And what did you enjoy? No, and and it was point number two, and how you enjoyed the party. And how you enjoyed the party. Okay. Now, this was the question that appeared in the exam probably two weeks back. A party you attended last weekend. Describe the party and how you enjoyed the party. Have you solved this task before? Are you familiar? Have you ever done this one? No. No. Okay. This is an important question. We're going to just put it up in here. Now we will move to the next question that had appeared in the exam in the last few days. The, the question was write about a film you like. Write about a film you like. Question one was, what do you, I mean, like, describe the film or, like, describe the film. And two, question number two was, explain about your favorite character in the film. Explain about your favorite character in the film. I will discuss with you how we can start and how we can make points about this also. Have you ever heard this question before? Write about a film you like, describe the film, explain about your favorite character in the film. All right? Yeah. Now, moving on to the next part. Another question that appeared recently. Write about rules and regulations at your work. Write about rules. Rules and regulations. Regulations at your work. Now, uh, point one was describe the rules. Point one is always like this. Describe it. Describe the rules. Describe the rules. Two, explain why these rules are needed. Explain why these rules are needed. Okay. Then uh, another question that appeared in the exam was about rules at home. Probably you might have practiced it with me. Write um, about rules at your home. Rules at your home. One, describe the rules. Describe the rules. Two, why these rules are needed. Explain why these rules, rules are needed. All right. And then uh, another question that appeared in the exam recently, write about a special occasion in your life. Write about a special occasion means a special event, a special occasion in your life describe the occasion and what happens on this day right describe describe the occasion two point two what happens on this day what happens on this day. 
Now, if the topic is what happens on this day, this means you need to write about Diwali, Eid, your birthday, something that comes every year. But if the question says happened, then it is about an incident that happened to you once only. Maybe it was your wedding anniversary party that is gone over an action that took place happened. Maybe the birth of your child or even your wedding and wedding, wedding uh, party or anything like it. Talk about such things or maybe you bought your new car any special occasion, any occasion means special event or maybe you graduated or maybe you got a new job or anything. Occasion means event, any special day, any special moment, right? So it depends what question, depends on the question, right? Now, moving further, we have another one. Um. Uh, write about a town you visited recently. What? A town. Write about a town you visited recently. Describe the town Explain why is it a good place to visit. Explain why it is a good place to visit. All right. Then another question that appeared in the exam recently was write Write about, write about different ways you keep yourself fit and healthy. Different ways you keep yourself fit and healthy. Describe the ways, describe the ways or method, describe the ways. Point two, mm. and explain how these ways work for you. Explain how these ways work for you. All right, uh, then another one was, mm. Special occasion or, 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 okay, look, it was right about a tradition in your country, okay? Tradition means like, just like tradition is something that people follow, like, in most of the countries, it's a rule that the bride should wear a red dress. This is a tradition, right? Uh, or maybe it's a tradition that, um, like, you know that, right? Like some rules that society follows, that's a tradition. You must not uh, make, uh, you know, you should not meet your husband before you get married and stuff. These are called traditions. What do we call them? Traditions. So, uh, write about a tradition in your country. Like, uh, maybe it's a tradition in, uh, in your country to have yellow flowers when someone gets married or eat some sp special food uh, or wear some kind of special dresses on an on an occasion. Like it's a tradition in everyone's country to wear traditional clothes, you know, on the special days. That's a tradition. Tradition is a rule that everyone follows in the society. Like everyone in the country follows the same thing. That is a tradition. And people had been following that rule for years and years. Do you understand me? Yeah. So, for example, if it's a tradition in someone's culture to wear a red dress, that the bride should wear a red dress, and all of a sudden the 
why uh, the, the bride decides to wear a white dress or maybe a pink dress so she's breaking their tradition people don't like that right people say that you know do things in a traditional way the way your uncles and aunties your father and your mother and your grandfather and your grandmother did the things you also do the things the same way that is following a tradition everyone do you understand the concept of tradition okay then um, and then uh, we will write in here describe the tradition Dati, do you understand or not describe the tradition like i know about one uh, uh festival uh from gujarat that is uh I don't, Navratri, I believe. So it's a tradition that everyone is supposed to dance and get together and wear very fancy kind of clothes, right? So this is a tradition. If some people will not do that, that they are breaking the tradition and people don't like that. Okay, number two, uh, uh, describe the tradition and explain, uh, explain what do you enjoy about it? What do you uh, enjoy? about it uh besides that um as per my reports it was about a book as well uh write about a book that you have write about your favorite book or maybe it was about write about a book that you've read recently right okay i will go with write about a book you've read recently write about a book i know if you've never read a book before please learn something any book don't write about your religious books please find out any other book maybe you can go for a, an english story book you know so write about a book that you have read recently that you have read recently uh uh okay describe the book describe the book and to explain how to learn the habit of reading. Habit of reading. Uh, understand it? And then lastly, as far as I can remember, Festival is done different ways, different ways you study or different ways you learn something. Um, different ways, your special day, special occasion, tradition, party you attended, town you visited, uh, your favorite film and your favorite character. Um, okay, one more. Uh, actually, examiner can ask you any question about different ways, like talk about different ways you study, different ways you keep yourself fit and healthy, different ways you uh, communicate with people. So let's try to put it this way, write about, write about different ways you co communicate with your friends, different ways you, you communicate with people, you communicate 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 with with people communi communi communicate communicate with people uh with people mm, um describe the ways describe and uh, describe the ways and describe the ways and uh and and describe the ways and uh how these ways work for you and explain how these ways work for you. Explain how these ways and these ways work for you. Okay. So any such type of questions can come in your exam, but the statements will pretty much remain the same. It is about, if it's about, write about uh, uh, an experience of a rainy day, an experience of a rainy day what happened on this day right and why explain why do you still remember it 
anyone who, who, who has a confusion that the questions are not too difficult. The questions are very simple. Now let's begin with how we can start. Now, this question is about, write about different ways you communicate with people. It could be about write an article or write a review, write something. You don't care. You, your focus should be the main title, that is communicate with people. Uh, that is ways you communicate. And also describe the ways and explain how these ways work for you. So how will we start? You'll start it like this, that firstly, 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 what? Firstly, I want to describe different ways I communicate with people, right? I want to describe different ways I communicate with people, okay? This is your first line, and after that, you prepare your notes. You prepare your notes like this. How do you communicate? Text messages, okay, phone calls, Facebook posts, um, meeting your friends in the cafe or meeting your family, talking to them directly. So before writing, you write little, little notes like this. Understand it? Everybody, do you understand? Like uh, text messages, WhatsApp, um video calling, meeting in person, emails, voice messages, do you understand or not everyone? Before writing down, please create your notes. Is that understandable? Yeah. Dharti, do you understand or not? Yes, I understand. Okay, and then the second point is explain how these ways work for you. So, for example, we are talking about text messages in here. These are texts. So, you write in here, secondly, secondly, I want to, I want to explain, explain how these ways work for me. So then you can say, you can write in here, texts work for me to get quick reply, right? Texts for quick reply, quick reply at work or any emergency or any emergency. Uh, do you understand me? Then we, this, this, po this point maybe is video calling. So video calling works for video calling, calling works to see everything on call, everything on call and not miss, uh, miss someone. Right? Uh, you, uh, I feel, I feel comfortable, uh, on video call, on video call. Do you understand? This is how it works for you. Right? Then, uh, we say emails. Emails work for communication. Uh, to talk to boss, right? To uh, emails from work. Emails work. Emails work. You can also write it like this. Emails are a good way to communicate. Texts are a good way to communicate. Understand it? 
You can write it like this also if you don't know how to connect. You can say, texts are a good way to communicate for quick reply and a quick, quick reply at work or for emergency. Video calling is a good way to communicate. Understanding or not? Is a good way. Video calling is a good way to communicate, uh, to see the other person on call and feel comfortable and feel that they are with you, right? Emails are a good way to communicate for business and also to receive important messages from banks and other advertisements, right or wrong? Do you understand yeah. or not? So how if you don't know how to start, you can just quickly Dharti, you you understand or not, beautiful? Uh yeah, I understand. So if if this is hard for you to create, then just start that uh I want to explain how these ways work for me. Text text messages are a good way to communicate, are a good way way to communicate to communicate, communicate for quick reply, for quick reply at work or in emergency, right? Or in emergency, full stop, okay? Then you write about the second one and you say, a t a video calling is a good way to communicate, uh, to see everything on call and also feel that you are with the person, full stop. Emails are a good way to communicate for business, for getting messages from employer and also getting important messages about salary mm, and also about new projects. Understanding or not? Yeah, everyone. Then, then this one was that this one is uh, another way to communicate is face to face conversation. Maybe this is face to face communication. Face to face, face to face communication. So if you say this is face to face communication, so how will you start? Face to face communication is a good way to communicate, to feel loved, to touch someone, and also talk to them right and enjoy with them in person okay or not is that okay face to face yeah. conversation then maybe i also picked video calling text messages uh video calling text messages and what was the other thing uh video calling text messages i don't remember could you tell me which one email Email is already done. Email face to face. Even if you write four points, your 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 answer will be complete. But I think there are many, many other what? ways to communicate also, like um, for example, WhatsApp. yeah, WhatsApp, social oh, social media posts. You know, like when you take a photo and you put it on your WhatsApp or you put it on your uh Facebook or Instagram. That is a type of communication. You can tell so many people what you want to tell with one photo, right? That's a, like maybe you bought a new car. Or maybe you bought a new a house or anything like it. So you, you can write here social media posts. Social media posts. Understanding or not? This is one way to communicate for you. Am I right or wrong? When you put a status on your WhatsApp, you're sending this message to everyone who's in your list. You're communicating with them with, through your reel or your video or your post, if I'm not wrong. Is that right? So how will we, how will we say that social media is a good way to communicate to tell so many people at the same time? of what is happening in your life and get a reply from them and also to see who's who who has seen your post you know you check all all the time that okay who has seen the post right or wrong yeah. so the task will be complete is this difficult no, no difficult. not difficult it's not difficult. Please take a photo of this and write it to me as homework. 
okay and please take a photo of every task at least uh, pe people who do not have exam yet they can um, practice these uh, and learn how to create top, like a first line here, then second line here. Uh, Dharti, always prepare notes before you start writing because when you will think first, then it will be easy for you. Okay. If we will move back, we can see this question here that is describe a book that you have read recently. Well, I don't know if you have read any book or not. But you would just say that, okay, firstly, I want to describe a book that I have read recently. You understand or not? You use this information and you use this information. Okay. And how do you say, firstly, I want to describe the book that I have read recently. Okay. okay. Semicolon. Then you say, I have read, I have read an English story book recently. It is about 10 hundred uh, moral stories. There's a story of a crow in this. There's a story of a dog in it. Uh, I learn uh, uh, the stories of two sisters or whatever. Okay. Understanding or not? Okay, then number two, explain how to learn the habit of learning. Secondly, I want to explain uh, how to learn the habit of learning. Um, a learning uh we can learn the habit of reading by reading short story books and also reading newspaper uh also listening to audio books and parents can also teach their children the habit of learning teachers can also help to help uh to build this habit of reading and uh um also reading magazines can help you build this habit, okay? Anything like it, you can write that how you can build this habit in you. Okay? Yeah. And this question, I don't think so, it's difficult. Uh, further, we have uh, this one, write about a tradition in your country. As I explained earlier, please do not be confused. Tradition is something that you had been doing for years and years. Your uncles, aunties, your grandma, your grandmother, your father, everybody did the same thing. Like, I don't know how many of you uh, are Muslim in here, but it's a tradition to eat something sweet on Eid. Or maybe it's always a tradition to eat something sweet on Diwali, right? Or um, some other occasion, right? That's a tradition. So everyone prefers to eat sweet food on that day, right or wrong? Yeah. In this case, if you don't know one tradition, you can write about two to three traditions, right? You can say that, I've, firstly, I want to write about the traditions in my country. The first tradition is, uh, firstly, I want to describe the traditions in my country. The most important tradition is to eat sweet food on festivals. The second uh, uh, tradition is um, to wear a red dress uh, on the wedding day right? The bride should wear a red dress. The third uh, tradition in my country is to always, I don't know, uh, but you know better, right? What are the traditions in your country, right? And after that, explain uh, why you enjoy these, uh, how you, what do you enjoy about these? Secondly, I want to explain what do I enjoy about it? Sweet food is very delicious and at a good time with family. A red dress uh, wearing is is it's a beautiful tradition because brides look very unique and different right and i really enjoy this and then uh, of course maybe meeting cousins is a tradition on uh, eid or any festival so it's a, it's for a good family get together <coughs> at any point i mean better but... any confusion no always no, no. Yeah, this is very easy. Now, this topic is very simple. Different ways do you keep yourself fit and healthy? First, you say, I want to describe different ways I keep myself fit and healthy. By drinking more water, running, okay, uh, eating less junk food, um, going for a jog maybe, uh, also not eating food late night, having a, lots of fruits and vegetables, avoiding oily and fried food, I don't know. There are many ways you you think of them. Uh, not drinking sodas or fizzy drinks. Not having 
a lot of sugary food. Explain how these ways work for you. Uh, secondly, I want to explain how these wor ways work for me. Uh, drinking a lot of water is a good way to keep fit and healthy. Do you understand? Is a good way. Whenever it is, they say how these ways work for you. You say drinking water is a good way to stay fit and healthy because, uh, you know, uh, the stomach is clean or maybe uh, the skin glows. Um, very good for skin and hair and everything. Uh, then this method. Going for a walk is a good way to keep fit and healthy uh, because it can burn calories and keep you fresh and also mind is fresh, right? Then thirdly, uh, you say that um, maybe this is no junk food, right? This is no junk food, junk food. So you say uh, junk, no, not eating junk food is a good way to keep, keep myself fit and healthy because it's very oily, yeah, and it's very fattening uh, and it is also spicy, way too spicy sometimes. Understanding or not, is this difficult? Is this difficult, Thirti? Anyone? Is it hard? No, it is not no. difficult. It's not difficult. Okay, so I think you guys should take these three questions as homework and write it for me right uh can you take a photo of this please uh take a photo of this question taken yeah. take a photo of this question take a photo of this question and take a photo of this question that's all do you want me to show the photos again or not this one first take photo yes. taken uh yeah, I'm taken. Okay, this. Okay. This. Okay. Yes. And this. Yes. All right. Any confusion? You need to write any conclusion or anything? No. Just learn what the examiner is asking you. This is what the examiner is asking you. Answer these two questions. That is all. Okay. How many words I have to write? You don't know? No. All these tasks demand between 100 to 130 words. Oh, uh, like tax uh, two. Yes. Okay. Is there is there any letters, ma'am? No, no. It it is not your concern. Even if it's a letter or it's a review, what is an article? That is none of your concern. Your focus is these two points. There is no way to start like, hello, how are you? Nothing. Just start off with, firstly, I want to tell this. Secondly, I want to tell this. That is all. Because you just need to write 100 words. You can't write more. Right. Doesn't matter. That's why I'm saying do not confuse yourself uh, with anything. So see, even if it's a letter, even if it's a review, even if it's about an essay, you don't care. Your focus is explaining these two points and understanding my topic is keeping fit or reading a book or my favorite festival or a special occasion or a town I visited or a party that I went to. Please take a photo of all these questions in case, you know, these are all important. Take a photo of this. Taken. Yeah. This. They will give a letter or anything. Only this paragraph. They can. This can be a letter. This can be an essay. This can be a review for a school magazine. But that is none of your concern. You need to focus on explaining the points. Your concern is film you like. Even if they say that write a let write an article for a school magazine uh, about a film you like. You don't care. It, even if it's a school magazine or it's for a website or whatever, you do not care, right? Even if they say write a letter to your friend about a film you like, you do not care. Your task is just to explain these two points. 
don't think if it is a review for a magazine don't care if it is to a friend do not care if it is an article do not care if it's an essay if you don't understand i can show you from uh, a question paper here <laughs> Not really. Okay, I saved it. And you also have your last class with me by tomorrow. So of course, whatever it would be, I will discuss with you and you can ask, you can prepare all your questions, you know? Okay, so uh, let's continue. Uh, I just want to show you what do you have to do? Because the main confusion starts with... Uh, Okay, actually, I just want to show you from the question type so that you don't feel confused. Yeah. Everybody, please listen to me. I'm going to open all sample questions and uh, let you know that what you should care about and what you shouldn't. No matter what the question type is, what should be your focus? Okay, now, uh, for example, I have opened three sample papers in here. And uh, I'm going to go to the extended writing task. Now, this one says, write an article 100 to 130 words. What? Write an article. This is what it is. An article for a website for students about different ways to study. You should give examples. Now, th this is not your concern. It is for website or whatever. Do not worry about this. Your task is, Firstly, I want to give examples of different ways I prefer to study semicolon, okay? <coughs> Understanding or not? Yeah, understanding. Firstly, I want to give examples of different ways. You can use this title in here. Uh, firstly, I want to... Firstly, I want to... Firstly, I want to give examples of different ways I prefer to study. Study online, studying in a group, uh, you know, uh, learning something online, studying with a teacher, studying alone, studying in the morning, uh, also taking notes when I'm studying. There are different ways that you use for studying, right? You will just put a semicolon here and after that you will put the, put the different ways you like to study. Any confusion? Then secondly, I want to explain why these ways work for me. So you say, studying alone is a good way to study because I can learn very fast, comma. Studying in a group is a good way to learn for me because it's a fun uh, way to study with friends. It's not boring. Uh, study in the morning is a good way to study for me because I can learn very fast as my mind is fresh. Is this difficult? Tell me, everyone. Hello? Not difficult. Not difficult. Okay, now let's take an example from another question. Now, this one says, write a review for a travel website. We don't care. We don't care. It is about a, a review or a letter or whatever. You don't care, right? Your task is about a town you have visited, right? About a town you have visited. So you would say, firstly, I want to describe the town I have visited recently or I have visited. Semicolon. I have visited the town of Timbuktu, right? It is a beautiful town 300 kilometers away from the city. That's very far, by the way. Okay, 500, uh, five kilometers away from the city. Uh, it has supermarkets, uh, restaurants. The roads are very nice. The weather is very good. The people are very friendly, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want to write. Secondly, I want to explain why the town is a good place to visit. It's a good place to visit because the hotels are cheap. Food is very delicious. And also, there are many gift shops available here. Uh, you can easily enjoy weather with your family and enjoy good food. That's why it's a good, there's a good museum here. There's a good historical place here. There's a good festival here. Anything, you know, you can write. Easy or not? 
Easy. Now the last example that I'm going to give to you about writing is this one. Uh, like for example, hmm, this. Okay. Write an essay, even if they have written, write a letter. You don't care because you don't have to start your letter with hello, how are you? No, your concern is only explaining the point. Sorry, this is ISC2. Never mind. This is a wrong paper. Okay, uh, last question. Now they say write an essay. You don't care. It's an essay or it's a letter. You don't care or it's, it's to a teacher or to a friend, your, your point is festival in your country, you know. Firstly, I want to give examples of what happens on the festival uh, in, a, in, a, in my country, right? If it is about your country, you can write that. Uh, so example is people, uh, people wake up early in the morning on Diwali, right? And people like uh, to do this or that or whatever. Because the marks are what happens on this festival. You can say that I want to give examples on uh, examples about the festival that is Diwali, right? On this day, um, people uh, eat, eat sweet food, people wear new clothes, people meet each other, people invite their friends, people go to a restaurant or whatever. Secondly, I want to explain why this festival is important. This festival is important to spend good time with family. Also taking photos, uh, buying new clothes, buying sweets, and also taking holidays, uh, spending time with yourself and your family. This is also important for religion, like going to the temples or mosques or offering prayer. This is also important for, uh, you know, celebration, right? Off work to relax, you know? festivals you relax you have a good time with family uh any confusion even if it's a letter it's a review it is an article it's a letter you do not care your concern is explaining these points within 100 to 110 words that is all any confusion no thank you so much everyone i hope this lesson helped you yeah thank you so much yeah don't worry you. you guys have got this it's not a big deal you will pass this test easily in case uh, i will want you to do your homework and at least let me check tomorrow once okay after that i will be sure that you can pass then you can leave okay tomorrow do not you can join me tomorrow to check to get your work checked please write me at least two to three three or maybe three to four whatever you can write Everybody, please try to write at least three to four questions that you can. Right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.